another one, two. Bites the dust. Saints step up their game. Celebrate, relax, practice, repeat. Thank you for your comments on my anniversary video. I will mention more on how you can help at the end of this video. Safety. Kenny Phillips is gone for the second time, and he only lasted two games. Brandon Fields has been signed to replace Thomas Morset, who will be out for an injury. Rookie Andrews Peet will start for Armstead, who is also on the injured list. Remember, hiring and firing and holding injured players are part of the game. There are always reasons we as fans know nothing about. What happens off the field can also add to this factor of hiring and firing. Tomorrow, the New Orleans Saints will be in the Lincoln Financial Field for a kickoff at noon. Things I am looking for are, I hope we can keep the correct numbers of players on the field. That is a huge mistake and it has snuck upon us a few times. An excellent passing and running game. Last week was a huge improvement. The defense holding the line and love the sacks. Yes, a few defense issues, but that is in work this week with practice. Willie Sneed, in an interview, mentioned that will be a physical game. Defense has done what I've expected, and now they can show us one more time things are in the right direction. Saints are happy on and off the field. I think overall, from what I saw this past week, and hope it continues as a stronger leadership on the field. Could it be younger players are looking to the older seasoned teammates on the field for that last minute advice? This is the real OJT. College and practice squad is not the same. Entry report. Hey, it will happen. We all hope less than more. None is always best. Out for Sunday. Thomas Moore said for his knee, Jerry Evans for his knee, and most likely Keenan Lewis for his hip, Brandon Cook for his ankle, Tim Lito for his back, probable not injured related, Marky Colson, and Kevin Williams. Kathleen Terrell asked Sean a question if he saw on the internet the fan in the sand, the fat man. Hey, I'm calling it as I see it. Yep, I played it on my recap. I will also agree he is a Houdat fan all the way. She mentioned it went viral, and Sean said he didn't see it, insinuating he doesn't watch the news, and all laughed. One person in the background commented to her, for Sean, he was too busy. And yet, there went the tweet. First up, Saints Nation blog. For me, I thought that was entertaining. What do you think? We are definitely looking at a big running game with the Eagles, which is where we're strong at right now. Let's hope our defense is up for the challenge with both teams not having the best set of numbers. We are on their field, and that alone is a challenge. Our last three games against the Eagles, two away and one at home, we've won our mall. The last game in Philadelphia, we won by two points. The odds are even at 4-7 to seven for the Eagles and 5-11 to 11 for the Saints, depends on where you look. That is a 3-6 to six overall with a .005 difference in favor for the Saints. This is my math. Remember, 13 times 7 equals 28. YouTube it and find out. I'll put a link in the description. My prediction is, yep, the Saints again by 14. Stay focused, and our team will have to earn this away game. If you have something for me to look into or talk about, let me know. Leave me questions. I'll get to you and work them into my video. Subscribing helps me. And thank you for all your messages on Facebook. I do appreciate your support. Also, add comments on YouTube. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. That's my time. I'm Bill Campbell, the Who Dad aficionado. Click on that Florida link right there to add me. And you can still find me on these social media sites. Who Dad? Black and gold. Who you with? Black and gold. Who you with? Black and gold. Who you with? Black and gold.
godly reason financials I am looking for is maybe are defense holding the defense holding the line and love the sack because I got twos and one and I had something written in there he what was he 